Hello and welcome to our virtual options event. My name is James Dudley Hart and I'm the assistant head teacher in charge of Key Stage 3. This playlist of videos has been designed to complement the options booklet and convey the key information that you and your child need to make the best decisions for them moving forward. Taking the time to watch the videos and review the GCSE options booklet should ensure that the conversations you have at parents evening next month are as productive as possible. So what are we aiming for? It might seem a long way away, especially with all the confusion around GCSEs in recent years, but we're looking forward to the summer of 2024. In the recent years we've had some absolutely fantastic GCSE results. The GCSE success has set those students up with a wide range of options for their future work and study. This is the position we want all of you to be in in August 2024. At Coopers Coburn we are proud of the broad and balanced and rich curriculum we offer inside and outside the classroom. At Key Stage 3 students have studied around 17 different subjects. This breadth helps them to develop as well-rounded and successful individuals. It's inevitable that some narrowing and specialisation takes place as they progress up the school and that range of subjects is reduced to 10 GCSEs. However, our main piece of advice to all students is to try and maintain a broad and balanced range of subjects as far as possible. For most students who don't have a clear idea of exactly what they want to do, it's important to keep as many doors open as possible. That is the purpose of the Beyond 14 process to help students to make the right choices for them and in the most cases to keep their options open as far as possible. Obviously we don't expect you to make these choices alone and there are a range of things in place to make sure that you all have the information you need to make the right choices. Students have completed a Google form with some questions about their possible options. This will help the pastoral team to understand the reasoning behind those decisions and offer any extra support where it's needed. Mr Ellis has arranged Year 11 Prefect drop-ins and the Year 13 Subject Captain's Fair to enable students to ask questions of those who studied those subjects at GCSE. Staff have spent a lot of time putting together the subject videos to help inform the discussions between you students, parents and teachers at Parents' Evening on February the 3rd. This is the opportunity to meet subject teachers and discuss progress and, if necessary, the suitability of options choices. The options form will then go live on the school website after parents' evening to ensure that everyone has been through the full process before they submit their choices. From then, you will have until February the 25th, fri a Friday, to complete the online form which must be digitally signed by both a parent and students. Let's now have a look at the Key Stage 4 curriculum in more detail. First of all, the majority of a student's timetable is taken up by the core curriculum. Students in year 10 and 11 spend around 37 of their 52 hours a fortnight studying these subjects in the core. As part of that core, all students study at least one modern foreign language at GCSE. This would normally be the language which they began studying in year 7. Students who wish to continue with their second language instead should ideally talk to their MFL teacher or the head of that department about it. You may opt to study two languages by using another one of your four options choices. You then have a selection of 13 option subjects from which you must choose three. These three subjects make up the final 15 hours of the Key Stage 4 curriculum. We are proud to offer a wide range of subjects, so it's not an easy choice, especially when so many of you have such passion for your academic work. We always try to offer students their first choice of subjects, but we are asking all students to select one reserve subject in addition to all their main options choices. This is in case we are unable to offer you a place on a certain course or with your chosen combination of subjects. You can select any of the subjects from the list as a reserve subject, except for separate sciences. It is obviously important that you make choices for the right reasons. Choices made taking these things into consideration are more likely to be of benefit moving forward. You should consider which subjects you enjoy. Studying something you like and are interested in is far less laborious than a subject which switches you off. It makes sense to continue with subjects for which you have already shown an aptitude. If you have done less well in a specific subject, you may want to consider why that is before choosing it at GCSE. Can you achieve a balance of different subjects which keep as many doors open as possible and doesn't pigeonhole you into one area? 
If you have an idea of what you want to do in future, you must make sure your choices are compatible with those goals. What are the entry requirements for those subjects at sixth form, university or college? We want as many of our students as possible to continue their educational career at Coopers Coburn after year 11, so it's worth being aware of the entry requirements for our sixth form. These are outlined in the options booklet, but the main stipulation is that eight GCSEs are at grade 9 to 5 plus meeting the individual subject requirements. However, these criteria are reviewed regularly and may well be different for entry to the sixth form in 2024. I would also like to outline quickly some poor justifications for options choices which I often hear. My friends have all chosen those subjects. Most options subjects have multiple classes and there's really no guarantee that you'll be in the same classes as your friends. I really like my teacher, Mr X or Mrs Y. There is no guarantee you'll be in that teacher's class. Teachers change class or may leave the school. You are stuck with your choices forever. Because you think it will be easy. Because your brother or sister took the subject. It's a new subject and you don't really know much about it. Because they have a cool trip to somewhere. I certainly feel really sorry for anyone in the current year 11 who chose a GCSE course because of the trip that was being offered. You will have noticed that science was mentioned both in the course slides and in the options slides, so it's important that I make the distinction clear for you. Most students at Coopers will study combined science, GCSE, as part of the core provision for nine hours a fortnight. This course is worth two GCSEs and comprises equal parts of biology, chemistry and physics. GCSE Combined Science is sufficient to progress to any of the A-level sciences here at Coopers and other providers. Most universities do not specify a requirement for separate science GCSEs and Combined Science GCSE is sufficient, even for courses like medicine, to create a pathway to undergraduate study. Whilst most students will study for Combined Science GCSE, some who have a particular passion or aptitude for the sciences may wish to take separate science GCSEs. In order to ensure sufficient curriculum time for the new science GCSEs and a manageable workload for students, those wishing to pursue this route will have to choose it as one of their options. If you wish to study three separate science GCSEs, you should have a strong passion for the study of science, have demonstrated an aptitude for science subjects in the past, have a clear rationale for wanting to study three science GCSEs, and be prepared to use one of your remaining three options choices. You should also have, have made this clear on your Beyond 14 options form so that we can discuss this choice with you and your parents if necessary. As I mentioned earlier, we want you to maintain as broad and balanced a range of subjects as you can, keeping as many doors open as possible. Choosing separate sciences will to some extent narrow your scope for other choices, so do take time to discuss it and think carefully before making your decisions. This year we will be submitting your options choices online through the school website. A link will be sent out after Year 9 Parents' Evening next week and it will then also be accessible through the Year 9 section of the school website as you can see on the slide. The form is quite straightforward and requires a digital signature from both a parent and a student. Remember, don't rush. The process is not first come first served. However, if you submit your form after February 25th, Mrs Harris will have started writing the timetable for next year. So if your form is submitted after the deadline, you may find that the subject combination you have chosen doesn't work. Thank you for listening. In the next video, Mr Duncan will explain the journey through Key Stage 4.